<laughs> Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Like, subscribe, share, comment on my channel, okay? We're gonna get right to the message. Spirit, give me a message for the collective, please, and thank you. Ancestors of the highest realm, thank you. Alright, Five of Pentacles. This is telling me that somebody could be left out in the cold, okay? Having some poverty. You have the full card, all right? This is telling me somebody could be acting like a fool, all right? Or somebody wants what you have. And this, if this is not you, this is somebody else, okay? This is also a new beginning, all right? You could be loyal or somebody else around you that could be loyal, all right? Um, the full card talks about self-completion, -com um, okay? Um, an opportunity, okay? Um, feeling uh, free, all right? Taking a leap of faith, okay? Um, this is also surrendering to a divine um, source, okay? So you could be a happy family or this person could be happy, but this also represents, you know, being naive, all right? Believing in everything and being naive, all right? Um, you do have the ace of swords, this is the truth, this is the clarity, this is the breakthrough, okay? This is communication, how you can communicate with other people and things that give you a heads up or give you a headache. I really feel like that this represents the truth hurt. Whatever it is that's about to come out in your situation or somebody else's situation, I feel like it's going to hurt, all right? Truth always hurts people. I don't know why people don't, you know, they want the truth, but they can't handle the truth, but it comes out. This is also a new beginning. We have a new beginning here with the five, I mean, the um, full card, which means that you overcome some kind of obstacles, some kind of poverty, some kind of losses here, some sickness, all right? So, be mindful. Don't be naive, because every new beginning is not a new beginning, all right? You are very um intelligent, okay? You have some kind of clarity, or some kind of uh, breakthrough. But I feel like you also could be having some sharp, um, you could be a, um, in the energy of sharp-minded, thinking quick, speaking quick, all right? Or this can refer to somebody else around you, all right? <clears throat> I'm getting here, you need to concentrate, okay? I'm getting here, you need to focus on your visions, okay? I'm getting here, you need to focus, okay? Because this is also represent a new beginning, but this is also represent somebody might cut your ass off and you might cut somebody off. This is justice, okay? Uh, fairness, all right? Mental clarity is all about your thoughts, okay? Yeah. <clears throat> yes, it is. You got Taurus, Aries, I mean, Taurus, Aquarius, and... <clears throat> Gemini in the building. All right, spray. Let me get some more cards. This is a pretty good read. The fact that you got out of the five of pinnacles, that's poverty. That's that's homeless. That's that's, that's broke. That's you know financial um difficulties. And you got a new beginning, and this is also represent a new beginning as well. But you gotta know how to communicate, you gotta know how to accept the truth as well, right? Queen of Wands. This could be a mother. This could be a sister. This could be a baby mama. This could be your auntie. Um, this could be a grandmammy. Whatever. Okay. I feel like this is this woman right here is is a good one. Okay. I feel like she definitely is a businesswoman. I feel like she's very confident. Oh, uh, very confident. So the fact that it's in the ace of swords energy. Also, this girl had foresight. So she could be able to see things that you are not clearly seeing. This could be a mom or this could be an older uh, relative or female energy. Remember, this is only energy. Masculine, you can embody a feminine energy as well, okay? This girl is magnetic, okay? This girl or this woman is very attractive, okay? Very mature, all right? This is the person that will help you. Okay, excuse me, my dog. Very loyal. See, that loyalty card came out again. If you want to know that this individual is very loyal, it could be you collective or it could be somebody around you that's very fucking loyal. If you want to know about this female, yes, it is. Yes, she is. Yes, she is. She also values her home and family life, all right? This is definitely a, a, a woman about her family, okay? She definitely sits on her throne. She is a queen. She's very competitive, all right? And also, she enjoys, um, you know, her, her work, okay? Third-party situation here. This could tell me that this is a friendship here. This girl, you could build a friendship with this person. I feel like it could be some union coming on, uh, coming in. I feel like it could be some celebration. This also represents celebration. This also represents, you know, um, 
group of people supporting you. Family, friends, whatever. You know, support. You got a support team. Yeah. This could be some kind of festival, but I don't know. It could be a wedding, it could be engagement, it could be graduation, it could be a baby shower, it could be a new job or something. Whatever it is, huh? You got friends that out there that has your back. You got friends that out there that care about you. You did? Yes, yes, yes. Sure. Spirit, give me another card for the collective, please. So thank you. You could be a masculine embody a feminine energy, all right? Because wands talk about energy, wands talk about home, wands talk about friendship, people, places, and things, okay? So you got people, places, and things, the wands, it, it just doesn't matter, you know? You got uh, masculine embody a feminine energy, you got a lot of feminine that's aggressive that can embody a masculine energy, okay? We do have the four swords here. I feel like in this particular situation, it's telling you to rest up if you're feeling tired, but also this is telling me that you can could be could be could praying to God or the higher ups uh, about your situation, about your your title, about whatever. But this also meaning laying to rest. It's also meaning you know putting things to end. Okay, this is also about stress, fear, anxiety, feeling overwhelmed, mentally overload. So it's all about your thinking process, your communication. Okay, you need to be in solitude. You need to rest up. You need to relax. You need to be in peace. You need to quiet your mind. You need to meditate. You need to re regroup. And this is also about healing. I don't know if this person is in a hospital or whatever the fuck. It is, but you're a planner for your future, so that's why you need to you need to uh, be focused with the Ace of Swords and, and have some kind of clarity about what it is that you really want. You got a friend here that will help you out. You got a group of group of, group of people that will support you, all right. But it's imperative for you to take some kind of time off and rest and rejuvenate, so you can be able to come back full force, full force and focus on whatever it is, whatever task that you got going on for today, tomorrow, or whatever. All right, collective. Give me two more cards, Spirit. Thank you, please. Thank you. All right. Just saying this is the Seven of Wands here. Um, the Seven of Wands telling me that you are very, very um, in tune with your, your your belief system. You stand up for what you believe in. You fight for what's yours. This means stay, um, take, standing your ground, okay? This is you standing up for your belief, fighting, fighting. Or I don't think it's fighting. I feel like you're very territorial, okay, against these ones. They could be, you know, the ones that's here to compete with you or here to, you know, uh, mess up your, your situation here, right? I feel like whoever you are, you could be very protective or you have somebody around you that is very protective of you or the situation, okay? I feel like you're very determined. Okay, uh, also about challenging people or things and places or or you could be very um you could be put into a challenge situation, all right? I feel like you are maintaining some kind of control here. You're very territorial. <clears throat> so whatever it is, you bound to defend that shit. Straight up. You're bound to defend that shit, okay? And you also have um, ten of wands, okay? Remember, you are a response. This is telling me you're burning, but this is also telling me that you are a responsible um, individual. This is overburdened. This is overloaded. This is you taking on a uh, more responsibility than what you can handle. This is also trying to finish up a project or a job. I really do feel like this is a problem carrying on too much weight on your shoulders. You know, you got duties, you got obligation like family, children, wife, husband, whatever it is, job, whatever it is. This is somewhere in the between you being restricted from other goals or or or, or you kind of a little bit struggling here all right um i feel like somebody did take you for granted okay you probably take it too much um to take it on too much more than what you can handle okay this could be some kind of delays in your life because of the ten of wands all right but i feel like somebody in this in situation is taking you for granted like straight up okay you do have love on the bottom of the deck this could be talking about your partnership or your love or your your wife your soulmate or your relationship your, your, your relationship which you're supposed to be able to keep it uh that between um uh, between you and your partner balancing equality okay this could be some uh, attraction connection engagement or marriage or or whatever but you're supposed to have some kind of mutual respect between both of you all right i don't know i, I don't know but this is what the fuck this shit is supposed to mean okay now i'm gonna keep this light i'm gonna keep this short because i gotta go to my other platform 
All right. Three. Let me get up. Yeah. I feel like somebody's wearing a mask, okay? They front it. I feel like you might not know, okay, wearing a mask is, is, is have different personalities and you're not a, you're not able to see who uh this individual is. This could be you or this could be somebody um that is around you, okay? You have all the cards, you have the heart, you have the um club, you have the diamond and you have the um the spade. So this is telling me this person can rock any excuse me, I burp, excuse me. This is telling me that this person is rocking everything. Shit, you want the money? It, it gonna put on. It, it gonna front like that. You want it like the it, uh, the two cups? Like what I just said, the love, the money, uh, the wands, um, and the spades, the swords. Okay, now, um, this is telling you to look deep into someone's soul or to someone's life or to someone's um situation or perspective. Okay. Whoever this person is, I feel like is projecting their their emotions or hiding them from you. This is you hiding or projecting your emotions or hiding whatever it is from another individual, or this is someone else um doing it to you, collective. Okay, I, everything ain't gonna be about you. Okay, this is telling me that. You're willing to bring a happy plight, okay? A happiness in a situation. I feel like this person, um, feel like it can be the faces to sue any occasion in all parts. Uh, it can play in all parts, okay? And it disguise themselves. And it creates whatever whatever it is that it want to create for you, okay? Remember I said here, with all the suits, it, 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 it can play, right, it can play any role for you, okay? The heart, the diamonds, the spades, the clubs, okay? Let me get one, one more spirit. So, but be mindful, because this person does, I don't know if, if, if it's a bad thing or a good thing, you know, it depends on... I gotta see your true, your true self. You know, I gotta wear the fuck away no mask around me, pretending it and projecting whatever it is. Be your true authentic, authentic self. You feel me? All that mask shit, man. You gotta play every goddamn role with all the kind of different kind of mask on. Some people might like it. Some people. Might not like it, yeah. You have the writer, okay. This represents the writer, the one, okay. This is the nine of hearts, okay. It could be nine, like a nine of um diamond. Now, the nine of hearts here. This is got. This is a motherfucker. I mean, not a motherfucker. This is a fucking writer. But also, this is a message coming in for you, okay. You can have a. Uh, this is about a lover or a younger person or a visitor, or this could be an opportunity, a surprise opportunity. This could be something that is renewed, someone that is returning back to you or not, or not. This is some kind of movement here, okay. News is coming in about something. Oh, this person. Who I, I feel like this news coming in about this mask is this person. All right, it is news coming in short order or a person a, a significant. Okay, so yeah, but the nine of uh, hearts here, you see the bottom of the uh, I mean hearts here represent the wish card. It may come true, so you might have somebody coming in to make your wish to come true, your dreams come true. You know what I'm saying? But this person was fronting or wearing a mask, not really telling you or, or hiding how they feel or whatever it is that they want us to hide. You know, it was caught up in a maze. I want you to be in a maze, going around in circle, 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 and can't find a way out, collective. Hell, we all say fuck this shit. You know, if I was, if I, if I was in the maze with you, and I'm in, I'm the person right here, nigga. You can't, no, nigga. I would be on. T telling you to go left, go right, go up, go. I'll be on the dome thing right here. Fuck being on. I can't even see you. You see what I'm saying? Man, I'll be like, dog, go over this way. Don't that. You see what I'm saying? I would be on. T let fuck, let climb my ass on top of that shit. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Word. I would have been up there like, no, you're going the wrong way. You know what I'm saying? You're quite an amazing. You got to find your way out of this shit. If somebody did. And you trying to get to that girl, that person. Spirit, give me another card. Yeah, I feel like somebody really want to 
you to be stuck in the maze. You know, you got, you, got to, you got to figure it out. You know what I mean? And then she's right here in the middle. It could, this could be you representing you or someone else. You know what I'm saying? You know, <laughs> I want to, my, 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 my different ass, my crazy ass would have been right on top of here. Like, nigga, go left. Bitch, go right. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you got to figure out how to get to that person. Or, and then you got to figure out how to get out. You can't see standing right there. I'll be, I'll sit my, I'll sit out how to climb my ass on top of that shit. Well, you know, this is all about material gain here, okay? And the journey. This is a journey that you took, okay? Um, it's a beautiful journey, okay? This is the road that you took. This is the route that you took. Merchandise. This is gift. This is this is this is uh material abundance. Okay. Um, I feel like this is the journey. This is the path or the journey that you took to be able to get to some kind of material material um abundance. All right. And once again, second confirmation bottom of the day. It says joyfulness. This is third party situation. So this is what you are, are trying to obtain. This is what you had of tours okay so this is a very 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 good um collective uh message here all right i don't want to pull any more cards i know this is very short this is shorter than my other videos but whatever so this is the this is the path okay somebody took chose the path towards you know financial abundance you know that material uh, abundance all right so remember be mindful of the face mask you know and whoever it is is a rider coming in to give you some news or coming in to you know give you some good news it could be about abundance it could be about you know um some kind of a tone some kind of um su uh, a surprise this could be an opportunity who knows whatever that news is i don't know because you were in the five of pinnacles remember that you was left out in the cold you was you kind of was hurting in your pockets you know what i'm saying business wise money wise and then it really messed up your, your health it just also represent you know your health ain't looking good you feel me so you want to take care of that this is money business this is, this is you being a one to pay out so so it kind of um uh, uh, material uh, abundance. You feel me? This is you. This is you. Not you in debt. All right, right. And then you got bills backing up and all that shit. You feel me? So this is like a new opportunity. But don't be fooled by every opportunity that are presented to you because every opportunity ain't that opportunity. So don't be naive. But just. Like I say, use your discernment, and that's the goddamn truth. And everything else I said, hopefully you goddamn remember, because I don't feel like repeating this shit, okay? So, collective, that's the message. But this pertains to you or your situation with somebody else around you. Remember, the ones could be home, family, friends, lovers, whatever, okay? People, places, and things, all right, y'all? So, peace. I'll see you in the next one, okay?